Hi everyone. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about my bladder uh, routine. So initially, when I first had my injury, I had a, 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 a leg bag with a combi. So basically, I'll put uh, an image up on the screen now. Uh, it's sort of a sticky condom type thing that uh, go that hooked into a leg bag. Now, I wasn't too keen on that uh, approach um, because I didn't have control over, over my bladder um, other than it was caught into a bag. Um, I couldn't wear shorts. It's one of those things that you sort of have to explain to a new partner or, or something like that um, that you have. It's quite... It, it wasn't for me. So what I had done was I had an operation that takes a section of your bowel and um, attaches it to your bladder to make it bigger so that it can hold more uh, urine and it works slightly differently in that it doesn't get full and then empty straight away. It gets full and then it sort of holds so that you can get away with not wearing a leg bag and you have no hardware or anything like that um, anywhere. So everything is just um, natural without any sort of, uh, so to say, hardware or anything like that or um, tubes or things like that. So I'd like to talk about how I uh, catheterize because once the uh, bladder uh, become, uh, becomes full, you need a way of emptying it. So um, what I have, um, where, I, where I store them, uh, just under the sink here in this box. Uh, it's the box that they come in and I just em empty out all the catheters out of the little bags that it comes in and put them straight into the box so I can just take one out and they look uh, a little bit like this and um, if some of you also use uh, catheters uh, they'll look slightly different to this and um, this one uh, has uh, a lubricant gel inside uh, just to stop any friction and the idea behind this is that it goes um, up the urethra. I'll, I'll see if I can find a diagram uh, to put it put up. And what happens is it goes into your bladder, and then the urine comes out of the um, of the catheter. Now, how I set this up is that I wash my hands first at the sink, uh, which I which I've already done. Um, I would uh, take off both sides of uh, the the wrapping and throw the uh, bits in the bin. Then I just get rid of the uh, excess lubrication, put it into the toilet bowl. Um, with this particular uh, catheter, um, what I do is um, basically just push the end up like this, and it it's slightly uh, thinner at this end, so that it creates a sort of airtight seal. You can't push it any further than that, and this is a great place to hold it. Now, with catheters, even if you've washed your hands. I would uh, suggest um, not touching the actual catheter itself. Um, so uh, what I've got here is a sort of um, makeshift uh, bladder uh, that I have. It uh, conforms with uh, the regulations of uh, what, what you can show on uh, platforms like this. Make it blue, that's always been the deal. You show whatever you want, but you make it blue. So what I'd usually do is I'd put this up the urethra and up into the into the bladder. Um, but uh, I won't show you that today because uh, what I can show on, on the channel. So I'll use this uh, little, uh, little bottle here. 
and uh, show you how how the how these work. Um, so I ca I can uh, put this up um, the urethra without actually uh, touching it, but um, in with this demonstration, it doesn't have the the, the tube up into the in, into the bladder. So I'm going to have to uh, grab onto the uh, catheter like this. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend uh, doing that um, if you're actually putting it in your body, just because of infection, infection and things like that. So uh, this goes up into the bladder, and then it comes out uh, of this little tube here. Um, I'll just get the camera. Um, it's just running through the packaging and uh, into the uh, in, into the toilet. Now, as you can see, the the catheter has two, uh, has two little holes in them which are above the water level now. So, um, it's not actually running out. So if you pull um, this down, it then starts to run again. So th this is why you want to uh, get the uh, catheter as low as you possibly can um, in the bladder, um, just so that it's within um, the, uh, the the urine pocket that's in there. If it stops running, just pull that out the catheter ever so slightly um, to get it back into the uh, into the urine. Because if you pull it out now. You've still got all this urine left um, in your bladder, and that can cause infection. So just keep pulling it out bit by bit, uh, allowing a little bit more out, and you can you can tell that it's coming out because it, it is because it's coming out, and you can tell that there's some left in there because it's running out. So just keep pulling out, and then allowing that you're in to come out. And you're going to want the the minimal amount of urine left um, it left in the bladder. Uh, this is to reduce the risk of infection and also make it so that you don't have to go to the bathroom as often. So I hope this demonstration is of help. Um, if you have any more questions on uh, bladder management, uh, please let me know. I'll put the email up uh, in on screen now, um, in the description, and also as a pinned comment. So thank you for watching, and I hope this was of help. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, then please like and subscribe for more content. If you have any problems or would like to ask for more support, um, you can either comment on this video, uh, send me a private email. Um, I have other social media if you want to check that out. Um, for more public support, you can go on Facebook, um, the SCI Owners Club, and there's an SCI Owners Club Partners and Family um, for those um, who have family who have spinal cord injury and would like some extra support. So all links will be in the description. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.